Electricity and hot water are a given in many parts of the world, but here in the marginalized town of Garin, north of the Argentinian capital Buenos Aires, there used to be neither. Things have changed thanks to ingenious but very simple solar panels made from recycled bottles. It's the result of an initiative by Argentinian NGO Sumando Energías, which directly involves local communities. Este un barrio... This is a poor neighborhood and sometimes we have no light and no water. These recycled solar panels help us a lot because we have children, it's useful having light and we get hot water even though we have no electricity. So how does it work? The homemade system is made of used soda cans, plastic bottles and milk cartons. As the sun heats the tubes of the solar collector, hot water flows into the storage tank. Volunteers paint the pipes black to absorb heat from the sun. In this way, the solar collector keeps water hot all night long without the need for electricity or gas. Volunteer Julien Laurenson quit his job in banking in Singapore to work on the project. Sustainable development and sustainable energy are important trends that we need to follow and foster. There's too much waste today, and I'm not just talking about third world and developing countries. I believe that developed countries too have to follow this trend. Developed nations are the biggest polluters. A third of Argentinians live with poor infrastructures, according to figures by the Argentinian Statistics Agency, which reveals that nearly 17% have no water. For Pablo Castano, co-founder of the NGO, the project is innovative because it brings renewable energy to the doorstep of impoverished communities in a South American nation with many natural resources. Argentina has a huge potential for solar and wind energy. To give you an idea, if we have the same capacity as Germany, which is at the same latitude as Santa Cruz, in Buenos Aires or in the north where we have a lot of sun, we could produce enough energy to supply not only Argentina but also neighboring countries. The NGO has assembled 36 solar panels since 2014 and proposes a two-day workshop to those who want to learn how to make the solar-powered heaters. Getting the families involved in the construction process is key to the NGO's plans to empower locals and teach them about recycling. Angel Guilari is among those who will receive a brand new solar-powered bathroom thanks to the initiative. These are things that we normally throw away and which contaminate the environment. Instead, we can recycle them and get hot water in the house, for example. It's good to recycle. I never used to. I would throw away everything I used, like bottles. The rubbish would stay in plastic bags because the garbage man wouldn't come and pick it up. The plan is to build solar panels for 3,000 families a year. In 2005, Buenos Aires became the first Latin American city to vote for a zero-waste policy, but environmental group Greenpeace argues investment in recycling infrastructure remains woefully inadequate.